So welcome, everybody. Welcome to the September Gateway Celebration. And um, this is also a part of a new human experience. And, and because today is just so special that it is September 9th, 2021. So it is the September Gateway time and it is a celebration. And I really want to emphasize that, that it is a celebration because I, I'm not sure if you all um, are aware that it's, it's like the, for me anyways, the old, the old system is done, is really done. It, even though it may not look like it's done, but it is done energetically. And we are now actually in a... Um, we're at the beginning of a brand new creation. So there's a bit of a messy part because it's a brand new. So we're all learning. It's, it's like we, we are all learning. So it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay that um, it's a new beginning. And, and for each beginning, there has to be an ending. So the old system what we're looking now is really the old system going into crazy mode. That's why it seems crazy outside. And if you look at the, the, the world right now, it, it seems crazy. But then um, I, will, I will talk more about that um, later on. But I want to first actually just to give an in because I mentioned that energetically, this is new, this the the new creation, a new human experience creation, it's has already begun. And um, so I just want to give um, some sort of um, an update on how the energy is doing. Um, I kind of briefly uh, listen to a little bit of uh, Franco's talk, Franco Dean and Nicola's talk today, and also um, listen to Jason Estes and um, earlier on as well about the, the, the energetics. So according to Franco, this month is a very powerful month and energetically. A couple of reasons. Um, first one is because we have been given a gift of um, it's it's a light light as in brilliance gift that the the um, our galactic family is really gave us a gift because they they see that even though they they are not um, on the ground with us fighting with us but they see that we um, actually need some energetic support. So that's what they've started to do this month. They have started to um, something called walk in. So walk in, I, I kind of ex want to ex um, explain what walk-ins are. There are three types of walk-ins. So the first type, which is the kind of the most prevalent type now, of walk-in is each one of your own higher self is walking into you. So, um, so that means that you will become more powerful. You would actually consciously, you would have a shift. It's like a boost that your, because your higher self, more of your higher self is now available to you, which it has not been available to you for a long time in how our higher self has been kind of staying up in the, um, in the upper um, levels and just kind of overseeing us, but really have not given us um, as much help as before. And this month, because we needed it. So that's what they've been doing. Our higher self, more of our higher self, not the whole, not all of, not 100% of our higher self, but more. Um, how much more? It really depends on each person. How much do you need in order for you to really um, come into your own so that you know what's going on and become more aware of who you truly are. So that really is very individual. So however, I know that um, for, for all the people, you may not get it this month, you may get it next month, but in the next um, 
within this month or the next month, more of your higher self is going to be available to you. So you would get this um, more. You, you would get this. Um, it's a matter of time. So more of your higher self would be available to you. You would feel that shift, that boost in consciousness. So that's a great, that's a great thing. And then that's one kind of walk-in. And then there's another kind of walk-in, which is, um, I want to, to kind of um, uh, ex uh, explain that there are active players, meaning that players that have an, a soul who came here specifically to make this um, transition from 3D into 5D. So that's, so that's, those are, those are called players. Those are called players. So they are called PC. So player character. And then there are something that's called non-player characters, meaning that those are people who, um, who either their soul has already made the transition. They're just coming back to support other people, or they are um, souls who, um, for whatever reason, know that they're not going to be able to make it this time, but they still want to stick around in order to assist all the, the other um, like players in order to um, help them fulfill their contracts because each person come here has a contract. The contract is we want, I want to experience, let's say from one to 10 things I want to accomplish. I have a purpose, a mission, a role that I want to. So, so that's what I mean by a contract is that there's a set of things that you want to be able to accomplish in order to feel that you, um, you passed, you made the grade. So that's so, so then the non-players are the ones that comes here to assist us. So the non-players, let's say if one of your, um, one of the, the things that you want to come here uh, uh, to, to, to tick off on your list is to be a famous singer, for example. Um, and, and so famous singer, so that means you have to have audience you have to be have to have people who loves hearing you so who are those people going to be those people are going to be the non-players maybe there'll be some players but mostly the non-players because they there's actually more non-players than than players so the non-players are really there to support to make that make it look like that there is a crowd that when you want to be the famous person, you, you're going to have that crowd. So those are the people who are the extras. It's just like in a movie, the extras are there to be the, 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 pass, the people that are passing by. So those, those are what the non-players that I mean. So the second type of walk-ins are actually advanced soul who are walking into the non-players because the non-players don't really have an individualized soul. So when a, um, a high level being who wants to come to on earth to assist in the planet going forward and, and maybe just to assist in um, just part of the way to, to have, let's say to, to, to just to clean up the, the, the forest or, or to clean up the water. So they are here to just to bring in the technology. For example, I'm not saying that, the, that, um, the, that there is, I know of such people. I'm just saying, for example, they have a particular role because they are really good at doing that. So they will make a contract with one of the non-players and instead of being coming in as a baby and take another 15, 20 years before they can actually bring in that, um, download that technology to us, is they can just make a contract with a non-player to walk into a non-player and start to take on that role for society. So there, so the second type of walk-ins are this type of walk-ins. So 
which means that there will be less and less non-players, which is great because these, these high-level beings, when they come in to the non-players, they come in with all their knowledge, all their, not just the technical knowledge, but knowledge of who they are, why they are here. So they don't have to um, kind of wander in the maze like a lot of the, the like I know that I, it took me a while to get to know what my purpose is. But whereas these high level beings walking into an NPC to, to activate that, that body so that it, it has, it's now becoming a, a, a full-fledged player, they actually, they don't have, they know that, they know that, they know why they are here, they know what they need to do, so they can get to work right away, which is, um, it's like we're getting um, new buddies that's coming to assist us, so that's, that's another level of um, assistance. So those, those are the two types of walk-ins. And then the third type of walk-ins are um, much less, very um, rare, but still there is, there is this type, much less, um, I would say maybe 5%. I, I don't know, it's just, that's for me, it's a, a, a very minimal um, level for, for the time being. Is, is that some of the players, some of the, the people whose soul is here to accomplish something for whatever reason, they may all of a sudden, um, let's say have a car accident and their body is kind of a little messed up. So, so for them, they're so the original soul, even though the original soul wanted to come here to do certain things, but because of these, um, accidents or or really um, unforeseen things happening that for some reason they they it's they feel that it's too much they're overwhelmed they don't quite know how to proceed from where they are so then these high level beings would walk into those not to overtake them but to actually um, assist them. So there'll be two souls in one body. And the, um, the original soul would be there to observe how the, the uh, uh, a higher level soul is going to be able to, let's say, put their body back together again. It, from the example of, let's say, they had a um, accident. So their body's kind of messed up. So then when the higher level body come into higher level being come into your body, because your body is activated by your level of consciousness, not, not because the, 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 the body itself is, that's the how it works. And everyone's body is like that. No, it's, it's, it's unlocked the, the level of your, the ability of your body is un it's dependent on your level of consciousness. When you have a higher level of consciousness coming in, your body can actually do very amazing things that it cannot do when it is at a lower consciousness. So that's what that third kind of uh, walk-ins are going to do. So all these three kinds of walk-ins though, it's really our, um, um, the, assistance that we're getting, energetically getting from beings that are, that loves us so much that they would come here and take on the body and also um, our higher self become more av available to us so that to assist humanity in going through this time, so that we can actually completely shift our tra trajectory. Because right now, our tra tra trajectory of the, the, the team humanity does not look very um, pleasant or easy right now. It's, it's crazy because it's end time. 
the, the, the old system is crumbling and the old system, people that are still wants to maintain the old system are really throwing out all their tricks that they can think of. They are not even trying to hide anything now. They are being blatant um, in terms of trying to manipulate human beings to, to, to kind of convince them that all is lost. You might as well just give in. And because, you know, we are more powerful than you, you have no power. You are going to have to do whatever we tell them to do. So, so I just want to actually tell, talk more about that. Now that I have um, completed the energetic update is that we are going to have all these new three kinds of walk-ins. Oh, okay. Actually, let me let me complete that. So three kinds of walk-ins. Um, September, it's it started kind kind of you know end of August. It actually already started, and um, so by about the fifth of September, the first group of walk-ins already. Um, are kind of settled. So I can tell, uh, I, can, I can share that my own higher self, I actually um, got the message that more of my higher self is being, is available to me. So what I felt um, as, as my experience of that is that all of a sudden, I think it was in, towards the end of August, I, I got that message. And what I felt was, kind of my own consciousness is just all of a sudden expanded. And then after a couple of days, it's kind of contracted. It's kind of, I forgot all about it. And then now <clears throat> it's, it's coming back because it's now it's more settled. And I'm actually starting to um, feel that boost in, in consciousness coming. And what it actually looks like is that some of the, the, the uh, old programs that has been preventing myself from um, making changes in my life that needed to be changed, that I become more aware of what it is that I needed to let go of now. And also with, um, and also the, I would say the courage and the, the, um, the, the, the internal drive to make those changes. So that is what I felt in terms of um, experiencing um, walk-in. So, so walk-in for me, that's what I felt. Um, is, so it started in September, but that does not mean that, you know, if you didn't get one, that means you're not going to get it. It's, you will get it because the, the, um, the walk-ins is, um, I, I believe what Jason mentioned is that there are actually seven, um, because they they cannot, the, they decided not to have all of the walk-ins being done at the same time. So they actually schedule it so that they, they space it apart so that there are now seven um, groups of walk-ins and groups in terms of energetic groups of walk-in. So I had mine, the, the, like the first group has settled in. So mine was in the first group. And if you didn't feel any shift, then no worries. There is still six more to come. So at some point you will, I, I'm quite sure all of you will start to feel that there is a boost in consciousness. And also the things that you may feel um, intimidated or you don't quite know how to do it, you don't quite know um, which way to go, then as more of your higher self is being available to you, you would get that boost in consciousness and you will have more clarity as to how to proceed from wherever it is that you're at. And it's individual for everyone. Everyone um, is here to do different roles, play different roles, have different mission, different purpose. So, so 
what is for you would maybe feel a little different from for me. I'm just, I just shared for me, that's what, um, what I felt. Yours may be slightly different, but the, 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 the hallmark is that you would at some point within the next month or two, you would feel that there's an opening that consciously you kind of feel like you up leveled. So that is something to look forward to for every one of you, because this is, this is a, a gift that our higher self is giving us, giving to us in order to assist us in making through this time. So we're not left here out in, in this mess all by ourselves. We are being assisted very much. So no worries. You're going to make it. You will feel that shift, even though, even if right now you don't feel it yet, that in the next month or so, you would have that shift. So in, so kind of when I listened to Jason, she, he mentioned, um, so the next group of walk-ins is kind of already coming already. It's starting already. So, and, and by the 18th of this month, they would be settled. So that will be the second group. And then by the end of September, that will be the third group all settled in. And then by the first, uh, by the 7th of October, the fourth group will be there. And then probably maybe about two weeks after that, the fifth, and then, and, and then at the end of um, October, it will be kind of the sixth. And then there will be at least one more group in November. So um, the, the timetable may be a little, um, may need to be adjusted a little bit. However, the, the idea is that by the end of November, all will be done. All of the, the extra help will, um, will be done. So, so within the next two months or at most three months, you would feel that shift in your own consciousness. You would get a boost. So something to look forward to. This is great news. And um, so your job, should you choose to <laughs> take on this mission is really to support yourself, support your body. Because for myself, I did feel that there were a couple of days, especially when my, when the more of my higher self needs to walk in is that I really felt tired. It was like for a couple of days, I'm like, I don't want to get up let me take an afternoon nap, that kind of stuff. So I, I feel um, that my body needed that extra help to, in order to assist it because it's, it's a big boost of energy when you're more of your higher self containing much higher frequencies coming into you, your body, your body is not adjusted to that. It's, that's not normal for your body. And all of a sudden that's happening and it's not just happening for, you know, 10 minutes, like it, but it's going to be staying there. This it's your energy level has to up level. So your body is not used to it. So, so support your body, um, drink lots of water, eat a lot of um, live food, like um, salads, fruits, so those are, those are the, the foods are also organic food as much as possible, um, non genetically modified food. So eat the food that is going to support your body and everyone's body is a little bit different. So be prepared to experiment with the food intake, with what you put in your body and just give your body what it needs and um, be be very mindful of your body just allow your body because your body has to process all these things so support your body be very good to your body so that's that's my uh, that's my experience is that's what i felt and so i want to share that when your more of your higher self is available to you when your higher self is walking in 
then your body, um, it's going to give you some feedback, let's say. So, so the best you can do is simply don't be angry with your body. Don't, 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 don't push yourself so hard. Just give yourself some, um, an extra few days to just get used to this energy. And if after a few days, you're still that, then you may want to um, you know, go to a healer or, or do something to make sure just that it's not something that is like a real illness versus just a walk-in energetic symptom. So just be, be mindful of that if that's so, okay. So um, what else? Is there anything else that I need to talk about? in terms of the energy. So um, September 18th, and usually after like between, between groups of walk-ins, there'll be a few days. So 18th is kind of the, the, the second group being settled in and all walked in. Then there'll be three days, a couple of days anyway. So, so up to the 21st where there'll be nothing happening energetically. And then on the 22nd, there will be the next group, uh, the third group of walk-in is going to start coming. So you will feel another burst of energy. So, so all this is happening. So, um, and, and then all of that. Okay. So I think that's all I wanted to say in terms of energetic update. And it's all good news because we are humanity as a whole is going to get a lot of energetic support and, and consciousness boost. And maybe right now you are still not too sure how to proceed, but when your consciousness get a boost, when more of your highest self becomes available to you, you will have a better idea of what is what you need to do next. And so that is um, that's that's all I want to say about the energetic update. And the second thing I want to talk about is how to navigate this um, this ending of one of the old system and the beginning of the new system. So I want to um, give you an analogy. It's like if you put your, if you interlace both of your fingers, your, your two hands together, if you interlace your, like, like, uh, your right hand and your left hand together where you interlace your fingers. That's what you are seeing in um, the world right now is the old system. Let's say it's your left hand, for example, it's your left hand. And the new, the new reality coming in, organic matrix and also shifting into fifth dimension. And like 3D, like organic 3D is there too, but it's also... The idea of a 3D is simply a buffer. The, the intention is, is still 5D. It's just um, a, a buffer. So, so it's really the old system versus the, the, the new system. And right now, it's all interlaced together. So in the old system, because it is dying and it is doing its best to take as many people with them as possible, as many people, and, and that is their, um, their right to do. Because um, if, you, if you're not done with the old system, if you have any attachment to the old system, then it is really their prerogative to take you with them. So that's what that's all about, is attachments. So that's what the old system is doing. The old system is dying. There, there's absolutely no chance of them succeeding. But while they are doing this death dance, they are trying to hang on to as many as possible. And take them down with them and that is the prerogative of the old system 
And I know you may seem that's unfair. That is so unfair. And I understand that that's so unfair. But I also want to, um, to let you know what being in the fifth dimension is about. First thing is that we are eternal souls. No one is going to die. I mean, the soul is not going to die. Your body, yes, all bodies die one day, one day, sooner or later, it's going to die. So, but the eternal you will never die. So, the eternal you will always be growing. And what we are we're going through it right now is, is, is what is called the harvest, meaning that we are switching from third dimension to fifth dimension. We are moving into a completely new playing ground. So only the people, um, so, the, so we, we have to make a choice because in the fifth dimension, there are two choices. There are two choices. You are either service to self or you service to others. So the people that are service to others are the people that will, that lift their life from their heart. So they would help other people because we see that other people, we understand that other people are simply part of us. They are us only in different bodies. So in terms of energetically, they are still a part of us. So that's what the, the service to others is about. So the service to self, service to self is that, okay, I am here for me and I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to get what I want to create the reality according to me and that I'm, it's all me, myself and I. So they still have the, they still can evolve their soul. It's just that they don't do things from their heart. They do it only from their, they bypass the heart. They do it um, oh, well, sorry, I, I can't really say because I really don't know that path very much. I, all I know is that it is still, they are still part of oneness. They still support oneness and that their path is very different from the path of, um, from the heart. It's a very different path. It's a part a path that does not go through the heart, does not see other people as being, um, has no compassion for what other people are going through. And that is still part of source because um, from my own experience is that the people here that is all about them, they're their presence actually make me stronger. It's because part of the, the, the human experience is adversity actually makes us stronger. And who is going to provide the adversity? The people that is dedicated to um, go on the path of me, myself, and I. So they are the ones that's going to play the bad guy role or bad guy from our point of view, from, from the service to others point of view. But from their point of view, they are doing what it is that their soul called them to do. So it's right for them. So um, well, that's what I, my understanding is that we need them as much as they need us. Because if there are no one that goes the path that, that, um, that is the, the service to others path, if there are no one that takes that path and everyone is all service to self, me, myself, and I, then 
we would go to oblivion. There would be no, nothing left. We would destroy ourselves. But source is life. Life is nurturing. And so the, the nurturing part is really this path. And the other path is serves as an, um, a contrast for us and also serves to make ourselves stronger and to really look at and help us refine our understanding of what oneness truly means. So even though we, we think of, oh, how can anybody be, be heartless and, and compassionless? I also want each and every one of you to know that even for compassion, is a lot of us think that um, has the the idea that even when we help others, we're not helping others because we know that they are other. We are helping others because we know that they are one. They are part of us. So in a sense, we are also um, helping ourselves. We are just helping ourselves as others so there is this dynamic and the two path whether it is service to self or service to others the two paths at one point in the evolution evolution of our soul has to come together because source is life it's life force energy at some point even the service to self people, they would have to get to the point where they have evolved to the point where because they've killed off so much that they can, they understand that the only, they, they get to the point where they actually understand that the others is also still a part of themselves. And at some point in the evolution of so, the service to self people will have to come back to oneness and to switch their mind, to look at others as part of themselves too. So we are actually all moving towards the same goal, oneness. We are just assisting each other in a different way because of the service to self people, it actually gives the, the service to others something to work towards. So that's my understanding of why there are people that are doing the things that they are doing in this world. They are simply there to assist us to get clear so each and every one of us to get clear because as a soul, as a sovereign soul, you have the, the right to choose whether you want to go to the, the service to others or the service to self path. Neither path is right. Neither path is wrong. It's simply your choice. There's no right, no wrong. Both path is going to converge at some point. At which point, only your soul will know. So your job in this is really to get so clear within yourself which path you're going to choose. And there will be other people who would come up against you and push your buttons and tell you that you're wrong and to tell you all of these and, and things to use fear, use shame, use guilt, use attachment. But all they are trying to do is to assist you in getting clear which path do you want to choose? Do you want to see the the world outside, the world outside is actually just a, a suggestion. So even the health pass being mandated, the health pass, a mandate is not, 
It's not compulsory. It's not a law. I just want you to know that, because um, a mandate is simply a suggestion. The government is suggesting that this is what you sh should do. I think of it as a suggestion. That's what their suggestion is. That that's, but. Would individual businesses, would they want to comply to it or not? And I actually have read a, um, um, a post where somebody said that they, they actually, th this businessman actually consulted their lawyer. And what their lawyer told them is that <clears throat> because what the government is mandating is um, completely out of line with human rights and human rights is really constitution and your constitution is the the supreme law of um of the can of the corporation that is canada so when challenged they don't have a leg to stand on so a businessman have a choice if they if they choose to do according to what the government mandate and somebody uh, a customer come in and they complain and they take them to court the government is not going to come and you know and stand behind them because the government know that they don't have a leg to stand on so what the government do is give you a fine or put you out of business. So that's something that the government can and may do. So they, if they give you a fine, then what the, the, the business owner can do is to um, fight the fine. And because they fight the fine, then the government, when they take the, the, the fine to court, the court will throw it out so that's actually what has been happening to people that have been charged when they are protesting, when they're not supposed to be um, gathering in, in groups. So they, they got a ticket, but the tickets does not stand up in court. So the tickets get thrown out. It's just that most people are trained to be compliant. If you get a ticket, that's a bad thing because you will get fined. But the thing is, um, cannot get fined because it does not stand up in court. When you stand up in court and you let the court know that it's against human rights and, and you take them to, to look at the human rights, then they don't have a leg to stand on. So that's what the government mandates really means. It is really a suggestion for the business, for certain businesses to to do this and if they don't they're going to get how what's going to happen to them it really depends on what the the business owner um, needs to experience because each one create their own reality so some would stand up in court and they would have they would get the the results they get and some people would would um pay the fine so it really, there are so many ways that it can go. I cannot really um, cover all the different scenarios. It is just that whatever the government say is a suggestion. So when you really want to check in with yourself, what do you want to do? what is relevant for you to do. So each and every one of you will have to check in with yourself. What do you want to do? What is comfortable for you? If you're not comfortable standing up, if you're not comfortable doing that, then you have to comply. You have to, you know, make sure you comply. But if you know who you are if you know what is important and you know when you check inside you know what it is that you're supposed to do then you, this 
no matter who else push against you, um, when you get to the point where you are absolutely sure, absolutely congruent with what's going on inside of you, then you would start to see the fifth dimension, the, the organic part of it, will, you will be able to tap into that. Then you'll be able to create a, um, a scenario where, let's say, um, you will be able to create the scenario where you actually would be able to, let's say if I want to go to the gym <clears throat> to exercise, and I get to the point where I'm so congruent with, I want to, um, you know, not comply and I want to go to the gym. There are actually gym owners who have also made the choice to not comply. So find those, those people. So find your people and co-create with them. That's what this this period is about for you to become so congruent with who you are and once you are congruent then all of the other you would start to be able to attract all the other people that are also congruent with maybe not exactly the same as you but enough um, congruence with how you want to to continue on what it is that you want to create for yourself and you will co-create with those people. There are businesses who are not compliant who already decided not to be compliant and there are people who are definitely um, congruent about not being compliant. So when you get to that point that even when people push your button, you have no buttons. They can push you, but you all you would be able to feel is you understand that they are also sovereign souls. They can choose. And it's just that they don't choose the same thing as you. And you understand that not everybody has to be exactly the same as you. And that's okay. And you accept them. You accept yourself and you accept their choice, just like you respect your own choice, you respect someone else's choice. And so that's what the, the, to the, it's going on is that there are two realities, the realities of the old system crumbling away and doing its best to convince you that you have no choice but to do what they want you to do. And when you go in within yourself to become so um, congruent that you are sovereign, that you are the powerful creative being that you are, when you become that, then the fifth dimension, also the 3D organic people would become visible to you. And you would actually, when you send out energetically send out, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to go to a gym. So please, you know, um, send all the gym owners that are non-compliant, let them somehow, let me connect with them. So then that's when you become congruent, that's when you can start to see the other world, which is the 3D or the 5D organic world. You would start to see those people, resonate with those people, attract those people in with you, and you will start to co-create what it is that you want to create in your life. So that is um, what's going on now, is that the two realities side by side, what you focus on is what you will see. If you want to focus on the fear mongering, you will see more fear. If you want to, if you get congruent with yourself and you empower yourself, you stand in your own power, you will start to see the organic matrix, all those other playmates that are also congruent and you will start to attract them in, co-create with them and um, make 
your own reality. You will start to let go of listening to what the, the government suggested you should do. You're going to say, oh, okay, thank you for the suggestion. I want to go to the gym and I have found this gym owner and I'm going to go there and support this gym owner because that's what resonates with me. And you would do that. And that's an example. So that's what is going on. Two worlds, whatever you focus on, if you focus on fear and disempowerment, then the old system is here to make sure to support you to feel that. And when you empower yourself, then more you will see and find the new system, the people that are playing in the organic matrix. They will support you and they are going to, you're going to start to get some new playmates. If your family, you have attachment about that, then um, get, get clear because Yes, some of your family may not um, want to play with you, may not want to see you. And in time, when you become clear in yourself, then they have a choice to make. They either choose to, they either choose love, they choose service to others, and that's their choice. When they choose love, then they will, no matter what your choice is, they would still be in your life. And for those people who choose that it's either my way or the highway, they choose themselves, they choose self, then that's their choice. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just their choice. So those people, those family members may not be in your life and that's okay. You have to let them go because, um, you two don't choose the same world. You like the, the more you understand that they're choosing them, me, myself, and I, that's what their choice is, then um, you have to let them go. Because if you choose to serve others, if you choose to have compassion in your heart, then that's you have to be so congruent in that and to follow that direction. That's what your soul is here to do. So no, nobody's wrong. Nobody's right. It's just a soul choice. And this, this next couple of months is really to assist everyone to get so clear on what their soul choice is. To really get clear as more of your higher self is becoming um, available to you is a good question to ask your higher self is what is your purpose? Why did you come here? Why did you incarnate on earth at this time? What is the purpose? Why am I here? You know, what am I here? What am I here to create? What is within me that needed to come out? And what are you passionate about? Ask your, so you need to find out what are you passionate about? So passionate about that is your mission. That is what you're here to bring about. That is your assignment. That is your mission. And what role are you ready to play in order to um, complete your assignment, in order to fulfill your mission and your purpose here? So the next couple of months is really a, um, a great time as more of you is more of your higher self is becoming available to you. More of your consciousness is going to get that boost of energy. More, the more you know is to get clear on why you're here what you're here to, because everyone is here to co-create this new reality, the organic matrix. Everyone that is choosing to stay in the service to others, soul path of evolution, is here 
has a piece of that puzzle. We are here to co-create a piece of that. So why are you here? What are you passionate about? What role do you want to play in this new reality? Get clear on that. You have this next few months to slow down and get clear on that. And once you get clear, then um, you can start to go play, find your playmates, find your co-creators. That's what all the next couple of months is about. And um, I'm not suggesting that it's going to be an easy time. I'm also not suggesting it's going to be a hard time because everyone will have their own journey depending on how much you have done and how much you needed to do. So it's all you up to you to create for yourself. And um, that's really all I want to share for this evening.